Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, continuing with the UV mapping of Captain Quark here, I think I'd like to work on the face. Now, currently it's part of the rest of the body, and I just want to split it out and work on that on its own. Oftentimes when I'm UV mapping, I'll break things out into their own objects, and then I'll combine things back when I'm done. It's just easier for me to work and UV map individual pieces. That may not always work for you, but um, I find it a good process because it helps me concentrate on individual pieces as I go. But let's tab into edit mode here. And I just want to select the faces of, well, the face. Um, I'll hover over this and press the L key to select that. And then I'm just going to press the P key to separate those polygons out as their own object now. So with this selected now, we could hide everything else by pressing Shift-H. And now we just have the face and the mouth on its own. I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror modifier over here so it's all one piece. There we go. This shouldn't be too difficult to UV map, mainly because the face is pretty much a one-sided object. However, let me... Uh, let me frame this up, and what I need to do is at least create a seam between the inside and the outside of the mouth. So if I go to edge mode and maybe select this edge here. Yeah, let's try that. I'm going to press Control E and mark a seam. And now if we select everything, and I'm going to come back over to my UV editing screen layout just so we can see it happen a little better. I'll hit U and unwrap. And so here we have the face, which isn't too bad. And here we have the inside of the mouth, which is really ugly. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and add that uh, test pattern material to this object. I'll just come over here to the pull down menu and choose the material, and there it is. We ought to give it a better name, I guess. How about UV test? And so here it is on the face. It's not bad, but there's some stretching here in the chin, and then down here in the neck, it's kind of uh, squished. That may not be a problem, but we might be able to get this a little bit better. Let's see what we can do. If I unwrap it again, I'll hit U and unwrap. I've got access to this little panel here, and I can try changing it from angle base to conformal and see if that helps any. Now it looks to me like the conformal actually isn't as good as the angle based. I'll put it back. And we could also try and turn on the Use Subsurf modifier here, where it tries to take into consideration where the smooth points are, so we can turn that on. And that helps some. That's not too bad. Um, as for the inner mouth, we may want to consider splitting this up. We can try splitting it down the top. So maybe if we switch to vertex mode and maybe chose... Uh, this point here right at that seam and then this point back here control click this to select that entire seam there and then we could use control E and mark seam to mark a seam there. Now if I press the L key here it will select everything linked together but I can also split it up by seam so if I just choose seam here it'll only choose the area within within the seams. So now I can re-UV map this without changing what I've already done with the face. So I'll press U and unwrap. And that seems to do a little better. It isn't quite as stretched as it was. So yeah, let's give that a try. So now if I select everything, they're overlapped and we don't want that. Ultimately, we're going to combine all of the character together and have all the UV islands on one UV map here. But just as a temporary measure to take a look at these, we could select them both. And over here underneath the UVs menu, we could pick Average Island Scales, which will make the two islands proportionally scaled in size to what it is over in the 3D view here. 
So we could choose Average Island Scale or Control A. And then we could choose Pack Islands or Control P, and that'll pack it all in there. And then we can even rotate them here. So ultimately, we'll be using that um, Control A and Control P to scale and pack all the UV islands into the 0 to 1 space here. All right, well, let's call that pretty much done for now. Let's go back to our default view and to bring everything back, we can press Alt-H and that will unhide everything. So let's work on the arms now. I'm going to select this part of the character and let's press Shift-H again. And I think I want to split it at the belt, maybe right here, or at least mark a seam there. But first I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply this mirror modifier. I'm going to click Apply, and now it's all one piece. And now I'll select this edge and mark a seam here. And then I think we're going to need a seam underneath the arm. So maybe I'll begin at this point and then control click this point here, like that, and mark a seam there. That's usually where seams are for a shirt anyway, I think. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Mark this one. And control click here. And I'll hover over this area, press the L key, and since we have seam selected, it'll only select the area within that seam. And I'll press U and unwrap. And let's see what happens. Let's add that UV test material. And I think I can split it out here on the front and the back. It looks like I could add seams, maybe one right here on this edge. And maybe one right back here to break that apart. And let me just UV map this. Yeah, I can, okay, let me UV map this. All right, let's take a look at that. I'm going to press Control P real quick to pack them in, and now I can see each one. And let's take a look at how the UVs are laying down. It's not too bad. There's some stretching in here where the seams are, but that may work all right. Let me press Alt-H, and let's take a look at it here. Let's work on the legs now, so Shift-H. I'm going to come down here, and I think I'm going to split this out at a seam, kind of on the inseam down here, and mark a seam here. And then select this with the L key, and U and unwrap, and see how that works. That's not great, so I think what I'll do is try and put seams on the outside here, something like this. Now let's choose these and unwrap them. There we go. So now if we select everything, we can see an absolute mess in the UV editor here. But we can fix that. We can press Control A to average island scale and Control P to pack them in. So we can see them with no overlap. All right, let's press Alt-H to go back, and we're getting there. So we've got a pretty good layout, I think, for the bulk of the character. And if we take a look at one of our reference images, we can see that we've got some texture going on in the gray part of the uniform and also in the green part here as well. And I'd like to try and replicate that as best I can. In addition, these black pieces of trim here along the sides, those are going to need to be a texture, I think, because trying to get edges to flow that evenly along the side there and then just giving it a material isn't going to work, I don't think. And in addition, we've got the big Captain Quark logo on the chest here. So even though we don't need textures for every single thing, I think it's a good practice to get into to UV map as much as possible, just in case you need it in the texturing phase. 
All right, well, in the next video, we'll continue with the UV mapping and work on the gloves and the boots and even the eyes. So I'll see you then. Blender fans assemble. It's time to create Captain America's motorcycle using hard surface modeling techniques in Blender. In this online course, you'll learn the tools and processes of modeling a complex, realistic vehicle. We'll use reference images taken of the motorcycle from the first Captain America movie on display at the Harley Davidson Museum. We'll build the bike up from the frame, assembling each piece using different Blender tools along the way. And we'll even go over setting up materials and lighting for a final render. This course is available at Blender101.com, where you'll also get my Blender Scene Creation course, the course that takes you through the entire process of creating an animated scene in Blender from the first polygon to the final rendered movie. And if you're just starting out with Blender, you'll also get the course Blender 101 Introduction to 3D Modeling, an in-depth course that covers the fundamentals of modeling in Blender. And at Blender101.com, you get new courses and projects every month. So join me as we create Captain America's motorcycle at Blender101.com. It's Blender for everyone.